All right, guys, so welcome to my first ever programming competition. This is called My Caribbean Story. The whole point of My Caribbean Story is to get you, the students, to be able to create something with programming that is fun and is something that you'll be able to learn in the process because you know my channel is all about learning. So what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to create a story using a program called Scratch. And I have three tutorial videos up so far. I should get to about five tutori tutorial videos by the time the competition launches. What you're going to do is you're going to go to my page. The link will be here. Uh, link will be in the description on the bottom here. And you're going to click on the playlist and start to watch the videos of how to program in Scratch. Now, once you learn how to program in Scratch, you'll be able to learn it in probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half for the most. And then you'll be able to now have everything that you need to create a story. Now, in creating a story, you need to have some sort of storyboard, you need to have some sort of goal or whatnot. So the theme this year is My Caribbean Story, How We Survive COVID-19. And you have to create a story that's within three to five minutes and take the link that you get from scratch and send it to me when you submit it on my website. And when you submit it on the website, I am going to take that story and post it on my YouTube channel and my Instagram page, right? Now, when the story goes up on your YouTube channel and Instagram page, it will be judged based on likes and comments for the first section. So the first section of the judging will take place from some day to some day, which I haven't set yet, but most likely I'll put it up here, or most likely I'll put it up here, based on how I plan it. And you will be able to be judged by likes and comments. Your likes and comments will run for about a week, maybe two weeks. I'll tell you exactly, either here or here. And then the top 10 people will be judged live on my YouTube channel on some night, which I'll be putting up here, right? And the top 10 people will be judged live for all the things that they look, we are looking for inside the story. So you need to be able to write an algorithm, you need to be able to understand the storyboard, you need to be able to put in good sound effects, you need to be able to make sense, and you must put in some logic that makes like you know choices within the story. So the whole point is, you're going to create a story that's based in the Caribbean, using Caribbean themes, anything that you want from your country, and that story is going to show how you survive COVID. It could be as creative, as funny, or as serious as you want, but if you integrate all three into a perfect kind of story, you'll be able to get better marks in the final grading. But in order to get to the final grading, you must be able to get a certain amount of comments and a certain amount of likes to be able to make the top 10. That's way. That way you're going to have to get your friends to, to jump in, they will have to like it and whatnot. But we try to stay away from negative comments because everybody here is a winner and everybody is trying. So worst case scenario is that you learn how to program something in Scratch. Best case scenario, you can win either an iPhone SE 2020 or a Samsung Galaxy A71. That's first prize. All right, so I uh, needed to jump in here to do a quick update because I did a poll on Instagram and these are the results of the poll, right? So as you can see, the, um, the masses decided that they don't want the price to be an iPhone and the earbuds. They want the, price to, the prices to be a Galaxy A71 first place, Galaxy A21 second place, Airbuds third place, and then fourth to tenth varying numbers of um, free classes. So price structure has changed. That's what it is. That's what this interruption is for. Back to our regularly scheduled video. If you're doing CAPE, um, if you're doing CSEC IT, you get free IT classes. If you're doing CAPE IT or CAPE Computer Science, any one of them, you get free for a whole year. And any top 10 people, well, there'll be consolation prizes that will go all the way down to like six months of free classes, three months or two, um, five months of free classes, you know, all the way down to one month free classes, something like that. But the goal is that you are going to create a Caribbean story. If this video seems a bit scrappy, that's good. I want you to feel like I am part of it with you, that I'm trying to explain it to you in person. I want you to understand that you could be a programmer without even knowing it. So you're trying to learn how to write things in sequential, make choices or whatnot, and you'll be creating a nice story that'll go around the Caribbean on the YouTube page. I don't know how you feel about that. So message me in the comments if you have any questions so i'll be able to do an update video to clarify every single thing but basically that's what that's the whole point of it my caribbean story how we survive covid 19. 
and you're doing a three to five minute scratch video, link is in the bio, link is in the bio, not in the bio, yeah. Hey, if it's Instagram, link is in the bio. If it's YouTube, link is in the description. And you click there, you watch all the whole playlist, and then once you learn how to use the scratch, you'll be able to start to create some sort of, um, you'll start to be able to create some sort of video, and then you could start to gauge how you're going to build your story. Now, as time goes along, I'll be posting tips, hints, tricks on my Instagram pages because I want to give you all the best chance possible. So I'll post, I'll post some tips on how to do a story, how to write a storyboard, how to do these, the, 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 how to do the decisions in Scratch, how to make things a little more interactive, how to use sound better, and all different things. Official rules will be on the website, so look out for that. Make it simple, tt.com, and. I think that's about it. I'm not too sure if there's anything else I have to tell you. If not, ask me in the comments and of course I'll do an update video just to let you know about everything and how the official entry system is going to be done. But in order for, it, for you to have the best information at any point in time, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting most of the updates with new information if things change and my official page on the website which will be makeitsimplett.com forward slash my Caribbean story that my caribbean story everything that's listed out for the um for the challenge will be there including this video any update videos all the rules and the submission form for you oh i didn't tell you the age group the age group is from 10 yeah so i have to jump in again so i was going to do the age group from 10 to 17 but then i talked to multiple people including teachers and parents and they said they don't want their child to be distracted from SEA exams uh, because in Trinidad and Tobago we have SEA exams going on in August so the age group is from 13 to 18 sorry about that younger people but next year for sure when life gets gets back normalized so the new age group is from 13 to 18 and of course when you submit you're going to have to send your boot paper from it to, to validate it because I know some of you some of you are smart all right yeah back to the regular video now that's about it so i look forward to this i wanted to do this for a long time and now we have the ability to do it so it's for the whole caribbean my caribbean story how i survived covid19 and you're programming a story in scratch using programming so i look forward to see what it turns out into